today we're back here at the Universal Orlando Resort for our day two vlog. We're back. Oh, another beautiful day here in Florida. And we're going to be starting off this morning with a bit of a water ride session. We know that many of you have been looking forward to this moment, seeing little old Charlotte here getting on some water rides. There we go, you're looking forward to it. <laughs> We're going to Islands of Adventure and you've got not one, not two, but three big water rides in this park. We're going to be starting off with Popeye and Bluto's bilge rat barges. Last time we was here, it was closed. It was the best time ever. <laughs> it was shut for refurbishment. However, we've made sure we've planned our trip specially this year so Charlotte can get on Popeye, one of the wettest water rides anywhere in the world. I'm dreading it so much. <laughs> the good thing is, it's one of the only rides here at Universal that you can actually film on now as well. So we can show you Charlotte's reactions. That's coming up in the next few minutes. Oh, no. Along with that, we'll be getting on Dudley Do Right's Rips or Falls, which oh, is a nicely no. themed log flume. Worse. Charlotte loved that three I years did ago. I'm not sitting in the front. <laughs> and then along with that as well, Jurassic Park River Adventure. Three big water rides all within the same park. Obviously, here at Universal, you've got the two parks, Islands of Adventure that you can see there just behind us. You've got City Walk that connects the two parks, and Universal Studios Florida as well. But it's great to be back. Oh, honestly, if you haven't already check out our day one vlog here on the channel where we got loads of attractions in did loads. Oh, it was a brilliant day it was really good i've got a feeling that today's going to be even better and certainly funnier as we make our way into ioa well we're inside the park then now and we've walked around to toon lagoon just here home to two of the water rides that we're going to be doing this morning. And guess who's come out especially to see Charlotte? Popeye just over there. There we go. I let Popeye know that we were coming. I am not impressed. There we go. And he's come out to say hello to you, Charlotte. He's getting you prepped, getting you ready. I am not ready. <laughs> there he is, Popeye the Sailor Man himself just over there. Oh, absolutely brilliant. I love it. And Popeye, he's just around this corner. Soon Lagoon. Very colourful, vibrant themed area. Look at the size of the boats on this beauty. Oh, here we go. Are you ready, Charlotte? If you think that I'm going on this without protection, you're wrong. What? What? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, yes, she got a shower cap. Look at this. Oh my God. Here we go. Poncho's coming out. Oh, I like this, Charlotte. Oh, it suits you, that does. All these cute little outfits she's been putting on. And here we go. The shower cap. Wow, here we go. It's time to rise. You've got to be very lucky to stay dry on this one. Is it going to be Charlotte's lucky day? Or is the water going to come and get you? <laughs> Here we go then on Popeye. I am not impressed with this. <laughs> Charlotte's in position. I'm baking up. Yeah, I bet you are. Why are you in Florida? You don't need all that on. Oh, I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, we're just getting started. Yeah. She's got a coat on. I just got a poncho, I just got a shower cap. And the thing is, it comes in all down the sides here. Keep your feet up, that's the one, isn't it? There we go, you all right? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, boats are massive on this as well. I'm here, I've got my uh, swimming shorts on. <laughs> oh God, what's great about this ride? Is that, oh my God, look at this. All the drop is themed, here we go. Oh! <laughs> all the drop is themed all around the side. Charlotte, we're going down a bit of a drop here, I think. There you go. Oh, look at the current. This is disgusting. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I don't want to concern you, but there's a big effect just around this, uh, around this corner here. Oh, I think we're going to be all right unless we spin round. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm going to get it. It's me. Let me go. <laughs> you alright that? How was that? I feel like I'm drowning. <laughs> this is the ultimate. This is, look at this. This is why I put my swimming shorts on with this one, folks. There you go. If you come in here, dress like you're going to a water park. That's what I say. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you got the full brunt of that. We'll have to do another, have to do another lap. You have got no chance, boy. No chance. <laughs> oh. It's nice and tame now. Oh, look at this. Yeah, nice and tame. Here we go. There's the olive just up there. Hey. What's this here? There we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> 
You do, you're lucky there, you're lucky. Oh God, what a rapid. I'm so glad we can take you on. Here we go. Oh God. <laughs> if it came round now. Oh, there it is! Oh, talk about timing. Got me on four trains again. Can't wait to get back on that. There we go. Water ride, one of three coming up. Yeah, the only one we can take you on, unfortunately. There we go, Blue Toes Boat Wash. There you go. It's jet washing. That's it, end of the ride. No, it's not. What? We're going up the lift hill. <laughs> no, that just takes you back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that'll be shoes. Oh, it's so good! And with this one, you oh! Oh, yeah, your bags just go in the middle there, and then you put this round to protect all your bags. Oh. That shower cat's doing you proud. I'm still sick. Oh. <laughs> what a beautiful lot of goats there. You probably can't hear much on this GoPro, by the way. So it got stoked. Here we go, down the drop. Who's gonna get it? We're gonna find out. It spins a bit normally. Let's see. Oh, oh. oh, it's gonna be down that end. Oh, I'm all right. It could be Charlotte though. It's Charlotte. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Oh. That's a stinker, the Sean Sandbrook stinker right there. Charlotte's had it off that way to go for it. We're not even getting any noise from her now. Finish. Nearly. A little bit more trough. There's Popeye, there he is. Give him a wave, show him your happiness. <laughs> hey. There he is. Hi Popeye. Hey. What a rapid. Fantastic, it is a fantastic ride that. Oh, there you go. How are you feeling? Rotten. Absolutely rotten. <laughs> oh my god. That was just crazy. I'd forgotten how forceful that waterfall was. It took my glasses off. I should have took them off before. Literally. Oh, amazing. Well, yeah, that's why you dress like you're going to Volcano Bay. Right. Swim shorts on. Fantastic. <laughs> this music is very fitting for Charlotte coming off with that shower cap on. I am not disgusting this. What was that attraction? <laughs> I thought Rick's all That was atrocious. Oh. oh my God, I'm so glad I punch you on. You're in Florida, it's only a water ride. It was rotten. It is one of the wettest ones out there, like. And I have been like yeah. <laughs> how, how did you feel about that water just coming down over you? It was horrible, yeah. absolutely horrible. The whole thing from start to finish yeah. was rotten. It's well themed though, isn't it? I didn't even look at the theme. <laughs> I did not even look. Look at me. My <laughs> bottoms are so... Yeah, it's actually gone through the poncho. That has, hasn't it? There you go. Poncho didn't even save you on that ride. Oh, God. I'll never go on that again. Well, you're not. Is that yeah. your one ride I'm and it's done? I'm terrified after that. Oh, Charlotte. I'm proud of you for going on no, though. You did it. You did it. You didn't just put this on. No. Genuinely, you I've hate got... water going over yeah, your head. So basically, hold on, I can't hear you. I've got... <laughs> Of like water going over my head because so I've had bad experiences, but I'm glad that I've done it. But I'll never go on that again. Oh, let's go and have a little off ride looking at it around this corner. That's the one that gets you down there, honestly. It is such a soaker, and there's another one just like it as well. But yeah, I'm really proud of Charlotte for going on. Hop Iron Blue Toes builds wrap barges, and yeah, just up here now on the olive where you get great views looking over the park, including Hulk just over there. You can see over towards studios with Rip Ride Rocket, Mythos Restaurant there, and off to the left here, the Lossa Costa. Look at it from here. <laughs> Blimey, it looks so good, especially with all the buildings of Hogsmeade just behind it. Kind of fits in from this angle, doesn't it? Down into the Mosasaurus roll. Wow. What a great view. Well done, Charlotte. I am really proud of you for going on. Well, <laughs> what a fantastic rapids that is though. I remember when I first came here, it looked really run down and needed painting up. I tell you what, Universal are really on top form now. Everything looks so good. And you've got to think with the water constantly battering the theming on that ride, like all the rocks around the side, it's not got a normal trough, it's all themed in. They do a great job to keep it looking on top form there.
Oh. I can't believe it. Well done, Charlotte. It's Ahsoka. And yeah, just down the back here, if you want some great views of Velocicoaster, not just up on the olive ship, but also down here, you get a great view of Velocity, looking up at the top hat and the Mosasaurus roll. Take a look at this. How amazing is that view of the top hat? Looking out just there over the rest of the layout as well. Absolutely brilliant. And yeah, you're going to get a great view now coming into that final inversion, the Mosasaurus roll. Spectacular. Continuing on then here in Toon Lagoon as our water ride session continues this morning here in Universal Islands of Adventure. Look at this beauty. Oh, again, the theme looks really good on here. Another one that first time I came was a little bit run down, but yeah, Universal these past few years up their game massively. Obviously, Velocicoast has been a huge part of that, but I feel like in general, TLC around the park, absolutely amazing. Looking forward to this. It's time for Dudley Do Right, Rips or Falls. Oh, you were out on here last time, weren't I you? I got so. <laughs> you had to go in the front of the boat, I'm that's not why. Going in the front this time. Oh, I think the smallest person has to go in the front, so we want to ride with some kids really, so they can go in the front and then we'll go in the back. There we go, I've got the, uh, the shower cap back out. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> We're gradually getting less wet though. By the time we get onto Jurassic Park, you'll be fine. Yeah, I know. You're, you don't get too wet on there. You're all right on Jurassic yeah. Park, aren't you? There we go. Uh, let's go have a ride on here. 15, I don't know, 25 minute wait. You know it's a wet ride when there's water leaking all the way down into the queue just here. Oh, here we go. Show we can't take you on this one. Yeah. take you on that one but we did wait about 25 minutes for Ripsaw Falls and here's Charlotte luckily she wasn't on the front you're all right that time so oh yeah it's not too bad though when you're not on the front oh the front was so bad yeah like it really comes over doesn't it on the indoor drop in there yeah there's a drop in the dark I tell you what though it is a great log flume it's not one of my favorites out there uh, however, yeah, it's a restraint, I think, what, let it down a little bit, as you can see from the boats here. It never used to have these restraints, but, yeah, you have to really um, put your legs forward. And, yeah, you can hardly move in the boat, so it doesn't make it a very pleasant experience. However, uh, yeah, some good bits of theming around the ride, some great effects on there as well. Here she is, Poncho's off. Fantastic, but uh, I'm glad we did Popeye when we did, because, yeah, it looks a bit stormy now, to be honest. We've not had any storms for a few days. But yeah, hopefully the sun will come back out and dry us out a bit. But I'm glad to put my swim shorts on today. That's how to do it when you're doing the water rides down here at Universal. There we go, Ripsaw Falls. Yeah, Charlotte's a bit better that time after that one. I'm still so <laughs> Oh, brilliant. I tell you what though, it does look really impressive from the front here, doesn't it? And you know what makes this is how it's got the two drops side by side for capacity and also for the offload as well. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool to look at when you see two lots of boats coming down next to each other. Bad timing for it to start raining here at Universal when we're just in two big water rides. Oh, I know, we were hoping that we'd uh, dry off. We will do that. I mean, it is still very humid. That's the thing here in Florida. Even when it rains, the humidity oh, is high. Oh, I know, yeah, they'll dry out though, don't I'll you go worry. To the toilet and dab them with loads of paper towels. Well, that's good, I she's got prepared. Some, I got some spare socks. Oh, that's the thing. I'm so proud of you doing Popeye though. Oh, it is a big know. thing, you know, it's not just part of the videos. Obviously, we have a bit of a laugh, don't it's we, with the comedy cool. aspect, but on a serious note, yeah, you know, it, it is a big thing for Charlotte here, you know. Yeah, really. But yeah, we're gonna head around this way now towards Jurassic Park River Adventure. So yeah, looking forward to getting back on this. I do prefer Jurassic World. A Universal Studios yeah, Hollywood. So good, I love that. The animatronics so good. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping they do the upgrades here at some point in the future. It may happen, but obviously right now, all of Universal's focus is on that brand new park, Epic Universe. Here's the entrance, 15 minute wait for Jurassic Park River Adventure. Here we go. Let's go and have a ride. Worth pointing out with the water rides here, you do need to take your bags on unless you want to pay for one of the lockers by the ride. 
However, top tip for you, if you go over to a ride like Forbidden Journey or the Hulk, a ride where you need to put your bag in a locker, then I'd recommend doing that uh, because actually you can use those ones for free and then obviously just walk down to the water ride. There you go, universal top tip for you. If you want to get a free locker. However, you don't get too soaked on this. For your safety, do not raise your hands. Jurassic Park River Adventure and as much as I do really like that ride it's in a bit of a poor state now. Yeah it's not in the best state unfortunately. Quite a lot of things not working I mean the gates at the start when you get the iconic really made, welcome to Jurassic Park and the gates opening they were just like permanently open uh, there was just lots of effects on there that weren't looking I great. I completely agree. Yeah a lot of the animatronics look very old very tired got some rips in it does need the work um, you know if you want to upgrade it to Jurassic World then yeah I'd like to see that I mean Jurassic World is amazing in Hollywood. Oh, so good. And then of course it'll fit with the whole area then, maybe do a full re-theme into Jurassic World to fit with Velocicoaster and the Raptor Encounter. Or even if you want to keep it as Jurassic Park, we'll just completely overhaul it. It needs TLC. It really does. Yeah, out of the three water rides, this one definitely is the weakest now. It needs some work doing to it, uh, but I still love the franchise. I'm a big fan. Oh, I love the music I do. Oh, honestly, it's so iconic. But yeah, you get the animatronic as well, T-Rex at the top before you go down the drop. He wasn't looking too bad. He was okay. Uh, but what you get in Hollywood is so much more. Oh, so good. The animatronics in Hollywood are amazing. Yeah, and you get the indoor scene at the start as well, which is absolutely phenomenal. But so there we go, Charlotte. Oh, All three water rides done. Baby. We know what Charlotte's favourite was, I think. Oh, not that. Popeye, right. she's been on it, she's done it. Never again. Honestly, what a great start to the day here at Islands of Adventure. And yeah, sun's coming out again now, which is good as I well. Dry off. Uh, yeah, hopefully so. To be honest, I'm already starting to dry off yeah. in that Florida humidity. But yeah, I do love the water rides. Uh, three big ones in this park, which is fantastic. Like here in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Yeah, lovely now. Had that tiny little bit of rain when we came off Ripsaw Falls. Only a really light shower. And yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous now. Drying off lovely. Considering I didn't have a poncho on, I'm nearly dry now. Other than my feet squelching around. Yeah, just walking through Hogsmeade now, back here in the Wizarding World. Making our way down to the Lost Continent to go and experience an attraction that I've not done for three years. Since I was last here with Charlotte. Poseidon's Fury, I absolutely love this. It's been closed since. I mean, yeah, even though I've been back out here twice since, it was shut both times, it's now finally back open, so I'm looking forward to giving it a go. But yeah, if you want to see more footage from the Wisdom World across both parks, check out the day one vlog. We went on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, AKA the roller coaster with the longest name. <laughs> we went on Forbidden Journey, Escape from Gringotts, and much more. Lovely round here because you've got the talking fountain just over there. They're in Lost Continent. Beautiful area of the park this is. And yeah, just down this way on the left hand side, we'll make it down to Poseidon's Fury. So excited. I would have done it the other day in the day one vlog, but again, it was shut for refurbishment. It's like he doesn't want me to see it. But yeah, this is an experienced attraction. Such a shame I can't take you on and film. Hey, we met King Julian the other day. We had a photo. I think he's out all day. Yeah, I think so too. But he's up. The scale of this facade is really impressive. It is absolutely massive. The camera doesn't do it justice. There you go, there's Charlotte at the bottom. That gives you a good idea. Yeah, look at this, the huge doors. Honestly, it's amazing. Such a shame we can't film this, but we'll talk about it afterwards. It's an experienced attraction, and it's great to see it back open. to 
experience Poseidon's Fury again here at Islands of Adventure. It's a 20 minute actor led experience that takes you through three different rooms and I love that attraction. It's just so impressive. It's got a great storyline that builds up in the first couple of rooms. Uh, basically you've got this uh, explorer who's taking you inside, however things do not go to plan Definitely. because you can't come outside, you've got to keep following through the temple and you go into the second room, the story starts building up, there's projections, there's lasers and then this big door opens up and it reveals this massive water funnel in front of you. Yeah, it's really impressive to see. Yeah, it pushes the water around at some speed and it's going around at a ridiculous speed and, and you, you actually walk, walk through. through it. You don't get soaked in there, you just get a little bit of water dripping on you, but that is an impressive it's scene. It really is, I get quite scared. And then you make your way, it's what looks initially like a very small room, however, um, it's very clever with the effects because they shine this bright strobe light and then within about 10 seconds the whole room lifts up into the ceiling without you knowing and then it reveals this massive show building uh, with all sorts going on in there there's fire effects there's projections there's water screens uh, there's water blasts it really is an epic adventure i wish that i could film it and show you it's always hard to talk about It'd something be like great that, to be able to film in that. it's amazing it really is it doesn't get the appreciation it deserves don't miss it if you come into this park, it's spectacular and it's great to get in there again. It was closed because of the pandemic with it being an indoor, big indoor space. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy to see that back open. Uh, I do worry for its future. I know it's got a massive show building. It's a lot of confidence, you know, it is an area that, is it going to stick about in the future? Who knows? Personally, I hope it does. I wouldn't complain if they do some updates to it, but I'd be sad to see that go. Yeah, it'd be really sad. Yeah, especially this big facade. It's an amazing attraction. Maybe it just needs a new lease of life to get people coming in there. But I really enjoyed it. Fantastic attraction here at Islands. We're back around here now in Seuss Landing, one of the many family areas on offer here at the park. And what have you got? Look at this, look how cute it is. It's got like a little fondant book on the top. A fondant book, oh, there you go. A tonk honkers. Well. How much was that? It was six dollars and then about 39 cents with tax, so not too bad because it is big. Yeah, that looks quite nice, that little does. Fondant book. I hope you plan on sharing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're starting to dry off a bit there now from the oh, water yeah, rides. There we oh. go, four attractions done. Oh, that's Hello. nice, that is. Lovely. And yeah, we'll do a couple of attractions next, I think, down here. Nice to see the carousel back in action over there. That was all closed up last time I was here. Yeah, nice carousel, and obviously the trolley runs around the top. Have a ride on there shortly as well. Yeah, we've got the cat in the hat. Nice little dart ride over here. It's a big cat. And what's he sitting in? A hat. Hey, hey, hey. Five minute wait for this oh, dart ride. It's another one that we can take you on, this is. You do sit in a net. We do sit in a net indeed on this. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. I'm the cat. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. <laughs> Thing one and thing two. What's really cool about the ride system is it actually spins on the corners and stuff, which is cool. Spins into the scenes a little bit. There we go. There he is in the bath. Big cat. Your mother, your mother is near. So it's time this again. Think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. Not like our games. What a shame. What a shame. The people that the ball cannot pick it up. There's no way to know. Have no fear of this mess. You said the cat in the hat. I always pick up my plaything and so. I will show you another good trick that I know. Then our mother came in and said to us to... Did you have any fun? Tell me what. Oh, we just had our ride there on the cat in the hat. And yeah, it's quite a nice little dog ride. That is some good bits to look at. Why is he going round there? And there's the big hat entrance, which is really cool. It's quite a long ride as well. And you can film on it, which is good. You got one fish, two fish just over here. And I bet them fish are in the home now, they're happy. It's raining. There we go, you are right there? I'm wet. <laughs> Lovely, right, we got the Sue's trolley just round here as well. I don't know if that's still open now. That was my plow, it is, it's still going round. Should we go on the Sue's trolley, take you for some nice views, looking over the park. Hopefully this is gonna 
die off. I mean, shortly we're going to get on the Hogwarts Express over to Universal Studios Florida because there's still one or two bits we want to do over there. We filmed a lot of it over in the day one vlog, but we've still got Men in Black and have a bit of a mooch around a couple of other bits over in that park as well. It's definitely the weakest of the two parks in our opinion, but it is still quite nice over there. But yeah, we're going to uh, get on the little trolley ride just over here. You like this, don't you? Yeah, I like it. You get some epic views. And again, I can take you on this one, which is cool. Great thing about this, when it rains, it's got a roof on. Town, and all the way back, I look round and round and I keep careful track. I think it's a brilliant the ride in this park, because you get some hot, epic views. Hot top of that ice cream with cherries on top. Yeah, it's spun around the edge of the carousel here. Part of Seuss Landing is a carousel cell that's truly outstanding. And I see the trees, the chocolate trees, the bright colored tops. Great view Rip Ride Rocket from here as well. It looks awesome from this side. Fresh blowing breeze. Hard Rock Cafe, that's the big Coliseum there in City Walk. From there to here, from here to there, fantabulous things are everywhere. And just look at that. And this view has always been great at the hole, but it's even better now with Velocicoaster. Look at this. And look out below. It's that new McGrew Zoo. Oh, what this zoo must be worth. It's the most wonderful zoo on the face Yeah, that's the show building for Poseidon. So it shows you just how big it is for that impressive scene. I like them, Sam I am. And I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. Now we bypass two unbudging zacks. Both stubbornly stuck on budged in their tracks. Now keep your eyes Lost continents over there, Mythos. Restaurants. Oh, what a fish. view. He's floating, he's wishing. He might catch a fish with a pinwheel like tail. He might There's Popeye just over there. Like a sail. No, I've heard he might <laughs> a checkerboard belly. Or even a fish made of strawberry jelly. Say, that makes a story that no one can beat. When so you got two different tracks here. Mulberry Street. However, it is all connected with different turntable sections. So I'd only class it as one coaster. Powered coaster. Dave? Well, she did, and that wasn't a smart thing to do. You see, when she wanted one and calls out, Yo, come into the house, Dave. There we go, nice ride right right on the trolley. All 23 days of hers come on the run. Farewell to the sneakers at the end of our fun. No time for more, we're almost done. Oh, I do love the trolley ride. You get some amazing views across the islands of adventure from on there. I love the onboard audio. It's so cute. It is. And the fact it's got a roof is perfect for when the rain comes down. It is indeed. Nice attraction. Anyway, we're now going on the Hogwarts Express. Ooh, I'm excited. First time this trip going on here because, yeah, it was shut for our day one vlog. You're right there. Absolutely. Oh, God, be careful. Um, but, yeah, you got a white style. It's all wooden flooring yeah, yeah. when it's rain. Um, but yeah, this was shut for some cable replacements, we believe. Um, unscheduled maintenance. Yeah, it's back open now. Excited. Yeah, we didn't know if we were going to get it this trip. No, we wasn't sure. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to uh, yeah giving this a go and uh, taking you all on the Hogwarts Express for a journey that connects the two parks here at the Wisdom World of Harry Potter. Of course, Diagon Alley that's over in Studios Park, uh, and then in this park, Hogsmeade. And here's the entrance to Hogsmeade Station, which is just here on the edge of Hogsmeade itself and yeah you need a two-part ticket to go on this and you scan your tickets or annual passes just here and it's the same on the other side as well for people coming over to IOA. I've waited about 10 minutes and here it comes the Hogwarts Express. It always looks amazing coming in from this way. Wow look at that. Yeah, it's always great getting it this way over to studio because obviously it's a shuttle system so there's two trains and yeah if you're getting it the other way it'll always come in backwards whereas if you're getting it this way you get that nice reveal of it coming in forwards fantastic let's go and get on here we are on the hogwarts express see you charlotte Woo! on our journey to london Oh, there it is. Uh, uh, a 
Yeah, I'm 25. There we go. <laughs> down the Hogwarts Express and we've arrived here at King's Cross Station. There you go, welcome back to London. Look at this, and there's the train. See, obviously this is really impressive. However, the train comes in backwards this way, so it is really nice getting it the way that we just have. Fantastic, what an attraction. Oh, it is fantastic. And yeah, welcome to King's Cross. I like all the signs up there as well. Aberdeen just on there, Dundee, Inverness, Peterborough. It's all the little authentic things that I love. I think it was your first time doing it coming that way. There you go. What's also nice sometimes, they have somebody busking in here, playing the saxophone, that sort of thing. There we go. You're right there. You're licking, you're licking your sunglasses there. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Right, we're going to head out this way because we did most things that we like in this park. Uh, don't get me wrong, there's some fantastic attractions in Universal Studios Florida. However, there's some really bad rides here, like Fast and Furious, Jimmy Fallon, which, oh, honestly, like, I've got nothing against the guy, but his ride is not great. Um, but there is still a couple of good bits down this end. We're off to do Men in Black Alien Attack, which is an interactive shooting dart ride. And the actual ride system is brilliant because it actually spins round uh, as you're going through, and it gets quite intense, which is really good. We we're actually doing Halloween Horror Nights again tonight. We got everything in though in our vlog last week, so check it out if you haven't already seen it. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a soaker, but you know what? We had a fantastic night, didn't we? Oh, it was so good. Yeah, we got loads done. All 10 houses, five scare zones, the show, Nightmare Fuel, which was amazing. Data stands open. Oh, so yeah, make sure you check out our HHM vlog if you haven't already seen it here on the channel. Well, yeah, up next, Men in Black, another one we can't film on, sadly. Charlotte's getting more excited about the jacket potatoes just here. I can smell them. Oh, <laughs> I like how they've even got the double yellow lines down here. And there's the night bus as well. So cool. Jacket potato, 10.49. <laughs> Are you having one? No. Maybe later. <laughs> straight onto Men in Black Alien Attack. How was your ride? I actually won. Oh, I can't believe I it. I know, I got like 71,000. It was only like your second time going on it. I didn't really know where to shoot because it is quite hard to know where to shoot in there. It is because there's not really targets. As no, much as you not. gun, you actually see the laser point. You're not hitting targets. You're aiming at the aliens because it's Alien Attack. And more in their eyes, I think. I really like it. Yeah, it's not a bad ride. I think you could do with a bit more theming at the end. I think so It too. feels like they ran out of money, doesn't it? it does, yeah. <laughs> got some black scenes near the end where you don't see anything however it is a good ride there's some big scale set pieces you go through all these different streets and yeah the ride vehicles spin round and it's pretty intense I really like it yeah I do too as much as I'd like to see it be updated in the future be interesting to see if it does stick about especially as I do feel like changes will come to this I part think so too. all the focus right now will be going on epic they've been focusing on IOA these past few years with Velocicoaster and Hagrid um, but yeah I do feel like a few years from now we're gonna see some big changes here I think so too. you know I think this part needs it in my opinion there's some great rides however there's a few that aren't so good as well now one of those that could be so much better is the Simpsons ride now I know that everybody loves the Simpsons we do too they are great however the actual ride itself is very poor it's a simulator ride and honestly it's not great at all is it do you remember our ride on the one in Hollywood in January oh God, we was like it was so rough wasn't oh, no, it, it really was. well yeah, it used to be a back to the future themed attraction back in the day unfortunately I never did that um, um, but yeah, that used to be Back to the Future right here, and I would have loved to have done it. However, there's a few little nods to that past ride, and Back to the Future for any fans of the movies, just down here that we'll show you along the way. But you look at this, and you think, it's going to be an indoor roller coaster. There you go, you got Marge there, you got Bart on the front. You know, for years you wanted to go on it. And we came out here, and he was disappointed. But yeah, it's not great. I mean, it's better than the likes of Fast and Furious and also Jimmy Fallon. However, it's still one of the weaker attractions in this park, you know. In my opinion, and what I think they may do in the future, it wouldn't surprise me if they kind of take everything out from Diagon Alley all the way down this right side. I think another big e-ticket coaster would be great down here. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, maybe another big dark ride would be fantastic down here as well. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see um, what they do in the future. You got the little aliens over here though, which is always walk on. Do you, do you want to have a go on, man? Yeah, you've, I don't, you haven't done it before, have you? Here we go, you've got a twirl and hurl this day. Yeah, why not? Let's have a go. 
Well, we've just been on Twirl and Hurl and we've come off and we've got Homer just over here and Lisa as well. There he is. Hey, <laughs> the Simpsons. <laughs> Homer looks a little bit, uh, a bit miserable, I think. And see how we go. There we go. He's just kind of like, yeah, whatever, dough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you got the quickie mart down here as well. You can get the big donuts here. I'm not having one today, but they are very nice, the big donuts. I am going to have a look how much they are, though, because in Hollywood, they were charging, was it $15 or yeah, something? Like, they were really expensive, so I'm going to see how much they are here. Whoa, here they are, the donuts. $9.99 they are. Yeah, you got the pink ones just here as well. So, yeah, I think they're a little bit cheaper than Hollywood. I'm sure they were more than that. And for any Back to the Future fans out there like myself, I am a big Back to the Future fan. I love it. And uh, yeah, you've got the DeLorean just here and also as well the train from Back to the Future 3, the actual one that was used there. Absolutely amazing trilogy of films. And yeah, the musical's really good in London as well. Never seen it. Oh, <laughs> the musical's actually going to be coming to the States uh, next year. It's going to be opening on Broadway in New York next year. But yeah, the musical is brilliant. So if you've got any uh, big Back to the Future fans watching, honestly, go and book tickets to go and see the musical, whether it's in London, uh, where it still is now in the West End. And like I say, next year, it is coming on Broadway as well. <laughs> there you go, that's my awful impression of Woody Woodpecker. Huh? Well, can you do a better job? <laughs> yeah. What? Even what? <laughs> that was awful! Oh my god, I think mine was better than that. That's my impression. Comment below, viewers, who did a better job, me or Charlotte? Me, obviously. Oh, I don't know about that. Blimey, I don't even know what to say there. It's put me off. I wasn't expecting that. He's even laughing at how bad that was. Look at him, <laughs> oh, Woody Woodpecker. What, what was I even going to say? Honestly, you got Woody Woodpecker's in the coaster just down here, the Nut House coaster. Uh, Nut House, there you go. Yeah, literally having that laugh. Oh, blimey. Yeah, you got this nice little Bacoma family coaster down here. Um, it's quite a dead space. There's not loads around here. However, you have got the little coaster uh, that's pretty good if you've got kids. I mean, where's Abigail? I think it's probably walk on. Should you have a ride? I, I think it is. Yeah, it's probably just very quiet. So we'll have a ride on here. Why not? I always really like this section of the studios park with the lake there in the middle, all the buildings around the side. Yeah, it's really picturesque. Well, yeah, you imagine another big coaster down there at the back. It would be awesome. It looked great the other side of the water. Kind of a bit like how Velocicoaster looks in Islands Next Door. Yeah, you imagine something down the back just there. Comment down below, what coaster would you add to this park if you could be Universal Creative and decide? But yeah, we're gonna head around this way now and hopefully have a look inside the Horror Nights Tribute Store. We've not actually been inside there yet. We didn't get a chance to go in during our Horror Nights vlog because we were that busy. So, busy. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have a look in because it's themed yeah. around an old school dart ride, uh, which is really cool. Yeah, it's got like a track built into the floor. Looks really awesome. So yeah, hopefully we can go and get in there. This park's obviously shutting soon because Horror Nights is starting, but we're going back to IOA, meeting Brett, get a few rides in with Brett. Oh, no. oh, here we go, looking forward to that. And then of course, we're coming back to Horror Nights. But yeah, we're not filming tonight because obviously we're repeating stuff we did the other night, but check that vlog out if you haven't already seen it. It always amazes me how much the atmosphere differs in the daytime to at night. Like soon this is going to transform into a huge scare zone. The atmosphere will be completely different to how it is now. Charlotte's happy she's making a purchase in the tribute store just here. She's going to be getting a nice shirt, I think. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah, all the different events, whether it's Mardi Gras. Oh, here we go. Dispatch the dark road. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? This is really nice. Yeah, they always do like a different theme, whether it's Mardi Gras or look at this. Yeah, so you've got the floor like it's a dark ride, which is very cool. There we go. And it runs all around the floor in here. Oh, the smell pods in here as well. Oh, it smells like Halloween. This is so cool. It's an experience in itself. And obviously you can't film in the houses. However, this gives you a bit of an idea as to how good of a job they do at theming. And it's multiple rooms, the tribute store as well. And yeah, I love this old school dark ride touch with the track running around on the floor there. The crows spinning round. Is that the one? Oh, here we go. But yeah, it's so atmospheric. And 
inside here. Look at this. The big monster, the pumpkin monster there, the pumpkin lord. Oh, look at that, Charlotte. You look Halloween. <laughs> Brilliant. So spooky. Round now into the Hollow Hill Cemetery. Oh, this is awesome. Absolutely amazing. How much is a t shirt, Charlotte? <laughs> she hasn't even looked. She, she just picked it up. Yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, this is brilliant in here. Oh, I like look at them up there. <laughs> yeah, proper theme shopping experience. This is how theme shopping should be done. I like how he just pops up out of the graves there. There he is. Some great photo opportunities throughout in here as well. Got this big furnace just over here. Oh, and some lovely spooky treats just down here as well. Look at all of those. Assorted monster chocolate shots, $10. $5 for a ghost. A bit small, isn't it, for them? <laughs> Charlotte's thinking, I want a big cake. Well, I'm having a voodoo donut shortly, so. <laughs> Stained glass windows, and it's the smell pods in here as well. I've noticed the smell's changing, that's cool with the shadow. The smell's changing in all the different rooms, which is really cool. Yeah, like a proper old school dark ride, just keep following the pathway. Happy Halloween! Love the tribute store. How cool is it in there? Oh, it's so nice. That old school classic dart rider with the music, the smells, the props in there. Brilliant. And Charlotte's got some merch. Love this new t shirt. Hey, oh, there you go. Yeah, nice purchase I like for you, that. Yeah, how much was it again? It was like $31 for tax. So yeah, not too bad. that's all right. That is for a nice theme shirt from a fantastic Halloween event. HHM here at Universal Studios Florida. Right, we're off to meet the man, the legend. It's Brett, everybody. It's Brett. Hey. Here we go. We're off to meet our good friend. He lives out here in Florida. He's British, but he moved out here many years ago. So we're off to meet Brett and we're off to have a ride on Velocicoaster tonight. Oh, that's Might try and do Hagrid's in the dark, a couple of other bits as well. And uh, we're off to get some food from somewhere called Moe's. Oh, us. it's so good. I'm going to have a uh, voodoo donut and this is all over in City Walk. So we'll make our way down here now. Five minute walk out of the park and we're here at City Walk ready for Moe's. Oh, so good. Here we go, Charlotte loves this Southwest Grill. It's just quick service. Well yeah, you really like this. What are you going for? So I'm going for a burrito with seasoned beef. Oh, seasoned beef. I like the way you said that there, Charlotte. There we go. Yeah, you get a great view of City Walk. This is where you actually come in to the resort just here from the parking garages and drop off area. You come down the moving walkway and it brings you in just here and into City Walk and of course home to the two theme parks. Here we go then Charlotte, what you got? Well, I did ask for a burrito but I got tacos instead but I don't mind, I like both. It was £12 for the drink. There you go, not too bad, not too bad. And I'll tell you what, look who's this, here, here we go. Hello. <laughs> the main event, here he is. Look at this, the Wizard of Oz. What, oh, what have you got there, Brett? This is a, a burrito bowl, mate. Oh, that looks nice. That is good to see you again. I oh, well, he's got his sunglasses on inside, I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> here we go, always good to see Brett, here we go, and this is actually Charlotte's first time seeing Brett in three years, because right, of the pandemic, but we're off for some rides, we're off, get on Velocicoaster, oh I cannot wait for it, so we'll have some nice food, and yeah we'll uh, head outside and get some rides in Iowa, whoa, there we go, back in Islands of Adventure then now, and there's Hulk, oh, oh. so we're going to do a few more rides in this park, Obviously, we've done all of our favourites now across the past couple of days here at Universal in this vlog and also the day one. But I tell you what, I enjoyed the triple whammy water ride special that we did earlier. I didn't enjoy that at all. Oh, I think you did. It was horrible. Oh, the thing is, we dried out nicely though, which is good. Fantastic. There we go, Dr. Doom's just over there, gonna have a ride on Hulk. Here he is, it's Brett's. Oh. What a resort. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. To be honest though, Brett, he's got so much better on it these past few years. It's always been the best, mate. Oh, oh here Just we go. Some time for you to come around. That ride right behind you over there, that's the one that's, uh, that's done it for me. The Hulk. Oh, well, that's good too. <laughs> <laughs> since the retract, since the retract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's great to be back. So we're going to get a few rides. 
get a night ride in on Velocicoaster and Hagrid's tonight as well. here at Islands of Adventure and obviously we did most of our favourites in the day one vlog we did the water ride triple whammy special earlier on so yeah we're pretty much done for Universal now it's been fantastic like I say we're off back to Horror Nights tonight just to go and do the houses again and take it all in but yeah I tell you what Jurassic World Velocicoaster fantastic investment for this park it really is Charlotte loves it Brett loves it I love it one of the best mate one yeah <laughs> So happy to have oh, you. It's so good to see you again, mate. I miss you guys. We need to get you back over to Fantasia Land though at some point and yeah. stuff, really. Well, you know. Get on fly now. Yeah, yeah. I oh. love Taran, but not been on fly. Oh, that's the thing. But yeah, this little viewing area over here is great, and this is a nice effect as well. You see the flooring just here. It actually leads over to the Raptor Encounter, and how the arrows kind of face in. Nice, that, isn't it? Yes, yeah, nice. Yeah, these little details. The Raptor Encounter is good fun actually if you've never done it before, where you can meet a real raptor. <laughs> Yeah, look at this nice view down there, the second launch. Obviously, you've got the first launch that runs across the top just there. And a great view down to the top hat just over there as well. Here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, we're going to have another ride on Velocicoaster. And shortly, we'll be wrapping up this vlog. Day two here from Universal Orlando Resort. Really excited for the future, though, especially with Epic Universe. golden hour ride there on the Lotta Coaster. Oh, what a coaster, I love it so much. Yeah, down near the back there, you was on row 11. I was indeed. How was it for you? Really good, I really enjoyed oh, it. Oh, so intense, and that's the thing with that coaster. Um, it's great early in the day, but much like every Intermen, it does warm up throughout. It definitely does. However, it's not like Taran, where it takes quite a bit of warming up. Me and no, Brett were just talking about that. Uh, Taran and some of the other Intamin Blitz coasters, a, a little bit slow up. in the morning. That isn't the case with Lotta Coaster. Not. Whenever you go on there, you're going to have an absolutely fantastic ride ride you really are um yeah lovely golden hour now look at this oh, it's so nice. can have a little stroll through the wisdom world of harry potter have a couple of rides in here and then wrap up our day two vlog here from universal orlando resort oh very atmospheric sky there with the sun shining on the clouds as we enter into the wisdom world one more time hogwarts express just over there what a great couple of vlogs we've had here it really has been fantastic Yeah, we're going to have another re-ride on Forbidden Journey and also Hagrid's at night as well. So I'll get a little bit of off-ride footage of Hagrid's in the dark and then we'll wrap up the vlog. 45 minute wait for Hagrid's. So we're going to do Forbidden Journey, let it get a bit darker and then jump in line before ride close. Here we go, the Wisdom World at night. Fantastic. We're just joining the queue now for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Look at that sky. Look at the lights. I've only ever done this at night once, I think, so I'm looking forward to this. Here they are. Looking forward to it. Charlotte's first night ride on this. Oh, it's going to be good. I think a poncho is going to slow us down, though, the arrow down. <laughs> you reckon so? Yeah, look at this. Well, we're just holding back a little bit in the Hagrid's queue just so we can see the castle projection show here. 
over on Hogwarts. Look at that. Footage of the dark art show. Yeah, that was really nice, actually. Yeah, a bit of pyro at the end there that as well. Lovely pyro as well. Yeah, only a short show, less than 10 minutes. However, nice. it's nice with the projections on Hogwarts. And yeah, we watched it from in line uh, because if you watch it down the front, they send you around the other side, and then we wouldn't have got our night ride. So we thought we'll just stand at the side, let people pass. And now we're going on Agrids at night. It is still raining a little bit, but you know what? That's not going to put us off. Look at this. I have never seen Hagrids like this before. It was advertised 45. And yeah, it's probably going to be about five, if that, to be honest. Look at this. I mean, it runs a ridiculous amount of trains, doesn't it, Brett? Well, this is quiet. This is crazy. I'm not seeing it like this, I don't think. And you know, maybe when they have the virtual queue, that's about it. You've got to think the coach is much more reliable now. It's settled in. It's had some issues over the years, but it's settled in nicely now. And we're going to have our ride. Well, I've never seen Hagrid's like that before. Straight down here into the final cattle pen. Five minutes and we'll be on. Then we'll wrap up our vlog. Day two here at Universal Orlando Resort. Oh, we just come off our night ride on Hagrid. We've got the Death Eaters out just here, there we go. Making the way around the area. Oh, look at this. Here he is. Got all the green lights on, we got the fog, very atmospheric. Whoa! Oh, I missed it, we got a flamer out there. Oh, look at this, here we go. I tell you what, it's atmospheric this is. Fantastic with the lighting, that flyer effect, that was cool. Oh, here they are. Those of the photos as well. Yeah, they bring a few extra props out. This is really cool. Wow, fantastic. Oh, what an atmosphere. And what was great is stepping off the ride straight into that. Oh, there we go. Pyrotechnics as well. Brilliant. How was your night ride? Oh, that was so good. I absolutely loved it. You really enjoyed that, didn't you? Brilliant. It is a great coaster at night, that. Yeah, fantastic. There you go. I'll tell you what, that atmosphere is just, Brett. Amazing. So yeah, good, wasn't it? I haven't seen it since it started. It only started a few nights ago. You only live around the corner, come on. Like. <laughs> no, honestly, what a great night. Yeah, I didn't know we did the fire on the fire, so that's great. Yeah, lots to see around there. Like The effects don't go off every, like, very often, but when they do, they're very impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, especially with the park closing maybe 20 minutes before that, that they still had them roaming around after the park closed. Too, yeah, so. but uh, it's been really nice seeing you again, Brett. Anyway, oh, just a, you, you know, only a quick one with Brett. Obviously, he wasn't in the country last week, were you, when we first came? I was but, in, uh, in Europe, well, you know. I know, yeah, and then we, literally, he doesn't come over to Europe for like three years and then we come here and he comes over. I think he's secretly trying to avoid us. Uh, <laughs> but honestly, it's so always, always a pleasure to see you both. Always man. good to see you, mate. A good trip. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. There you go. Great to see Brett. Legend out here at Universal. I tell you what, walking off Hagrid's there in the dark straight into that was amazing. Oh, it was so magical. And as a Harry Potter fan for Charlotte. Oh, it was so good. I really enjoyed it. So they were the Death Eaters, were really the there? Death Eaters, oh, yeah. fantastic to see them roaming around the area. I really loved it. It was a bit like a scare zone, wasn't it? It was quite scary, actually. Oh, I tell you what, though, have you had a good day? Oh, it's been amazing today. I think we know what Charlotte's uh, highlight's been today, Definitely though. Definitely not Popeye. Popeye and Blue Toast oh Bill Drop Barges. The triple whammy water ride special that we did today here at this park. If you come in here, do a triple whammy. That's what it's all about in IOA. Three fantastic water rides. You haven't got any in the studios, but they make up for it in this park. Yes, they do. Along with that, it was nice looking around the tribute store yeah, earlier on. Really nice. You know, like a classic dark ride with the ghost train vibe. That was cool. And along with that, enjoy doing Men in Black that we did yeah, over really there. Yeah, really enjoyed that as too. Of course, Velocicoaster as oh, always. You know, amazing. I mean, that, rave reviews from us for that ride. Absolutely love it. Absolutely fantastic. But like I said, if you haven't already, check out the day one vlog and also our dedicated Halloween. Horror Nights vlog as well. Yes, check it out. In fact, we're just about to head over there again tonight. Yeah. Uh, have a night off camera. Like I say, it's important to do that. You know, have time really off is. camera uh, just to enjoy it, soak it all in. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be doing that tonight. And we'll be back with another vlog for you all. We've still got uh, a couple more vlogs to come from we the trip. Have indeed. 
We're going to SeaWorld, get on the coasters there, and we've got Howlow Scream at SeaWorld as well coming Looking up. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I think there's five houses to get in there. So, yeah. And lots of different scare zones. Ooh. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. But along with that, there'll be another final Disney vlog, getting a few last bits in in Magic Kingdom, and also as well, riding some of the transportation, like the we Skyliner like and the monorail. Too. Looking forward to it. Maybe a couple of treats, what do you think? Definitely. <laughs> oh, but no, great to get back to Universal. What an absolutely awesome day. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you all tomorrow.